Hello everyone, so this week I am taking on a little bit of a challenge I suppose. I am going to attempt to paint my face like Tate from American Horror Story, which I'm not sure how it will go if it turns out well, great, if it doesn't, great. But I, yeah, just want to try it, like, yeah. I'm just going to get on with it because I don't really know what to say, so I just follow what I do. I'll be using eyeshadows, I'll be using cream paints, a little bit of foundation, brushes, powder, different things like that. So I'll show you as I go along, but just follow what I do and yeah, hopefully it won't be too hard. But also, and make sure you have a reference pitch to go from, which probably make it easier to do, I suppose, but I'm not sure, so, yeah, let's go. So to begin with, take white cream paint, some foundation in your colour, or darker or lighter, and mix that together so you get a really light cream colour foundation, which you can put all over your face, ears and neck, so you have a blank canvas to work onto with your special effects face paint. Then just taking some talcum powder or baby powder, completely powder all of your face and neck just to set that and fill in any gaps which you may have missed with the white. Then taking a mix of brown and black paint I outlined with a really thin brush, the thinnest one that I have, the details which were my eye sockets. The easiest way I can describe it is two ovals, I didn't go over the eyebrow and just create little flicks off of it. It wasn't a perfect oval but you can see from these pictures what I intended to do. Also outline your nostrils and the bone which would be on your nose but leave a gap in between and just outline your cheekbones. Now using black water activated face paints just fill in your eye socket and your nose holes. When filling in your nose, make sure to fill inside your nostril as well as around, just so the inside colour of your nostril doesn't stand out towards the black. Now taking that thin brush again, extend your smile up your cheeks below the cheekbone lines and begin to draw lines which will be your teeth all the way up that extended smile and then do half moons above each line to create the actual teeth do this to both the top and the bottom of your lips and extended smile to create your teeth for this look as you will see in a minute on the one side I have to keep rubbing off the face paint and redoing it because I couldn't get it right first time so it's all about taking your time and practicing it's not easy to do but it's not the hardest thing it took about four attempts to get it right sometimes the teeth were too big sometimes they were too small but all you have to do is wipe it off and reapply the white base colour and just work into it with the black eyeshadow and face paint Then taking that black eyeshadow, work on your cheekbones and just drag down the colour to make 
it looks like you have sunken cheekbones and give your face more depth. This will make it more skeleton like. You also want to go around your jawline, which if you're like me, you definitely want to because your jawline is covered in chins, so you don't have one, but yep, yeah, just outline that so you have a more defined face and it brings out all the facial features more and just blend that down into your neck but making sure it's dark where you outline and then just outline your temples and fill them in and just blend it so it all works together and then just go around the hairline and pull that down slightly but not too much because you don't want your forehead to be too dark then just take in a light grey eyeshadow just create depth around your eye sockets and next to your temples I didn't film this because my camera decided to cut off at this point but yep yeah, that's all I did just a light outline but make sure you don't go over your eyebrows just leave the top fine unless you don't have any eyebrows then go for it or if you have really thin eyebrows should I say go for it then just working on the neck I literally did just loads of different squiggles with the black which looked grey because I didn't go heavy on it and then just filled it in with lighter greys and just shaded it and things like that then just to set it all I just powdered it with the baby powder talcum powder and that will just set it and make it look more like a tattoo it won't be as strong on your face so it won't look as bold and fresh but if you want it to look like that don't powder it but I think powdering it gives the better effect but it's all down to your interpretation and what you do then just a bit more more shading above the cheekbones just above the eyebrows around the nose with a really light grey eyeshadow and just go in with the black and dark grey again on your teeth just to make them stand out a bit more this is the finished look for the Tate I'm from American Horror Story season one look it's not as hard as I expected it actually to take. It's not exact. Again, as I said in some of my previous videos, this is how I have interpreted, interpreted into my own way and this is how I want it to look. So it's not exactly how he wore it, but it's close enough and I think it's pretty obvious who it's meant to be. So I, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video, I will see you next week, please give this video a big thumbs up, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your dad, tell everyone you know, and yeah, I will see you next week for another video.